This is how you can make a bag valued at $2,000 for only $8. If you guys want to know how, stay tuned to find out. here and welcome to Bochi Not Macrame, the channel where you will find everything macrame related from DIY pattern tutorials, tips and tricks videos, and so much more. If you guys are interested in learning macrame with me, make sure you click that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. So as I was browsing online recently, I found a macrame bag, a Prada macrame bag listed at $2,000 USD. Like what? That is literally bonkers. All you need to make that exact same bag is a roll of cord. All you need is 40 meters of cord to make that bag. And the only knots you need to know to make this bag are the overhand knot and the gathering knot. Two very basic and simple knots. And so today I'm going to show you guys how to turn 40 meters of cord, which is worth about $8 at 20 cents per meter, and how you can use your hands and the cord to turn it into a macrame bag. So I did change up the bag slightly. Instead of the leather handles at the top, I had macrame some handles using a gathering knot. If you want to incorporate leather handles, you can do that. All you need to do is glue the leather cording from this overhand knot to the other end instead of making a gathering knot up at the top. This is a fun beginner friendly pattern to make using only two knots and it should only take about an hour to an hour and a half to make. This is a very versatile bag that you can use for grocery shopping, a gym bag, or just an everyday wear bag as well. And with all of that said, let's get right into it. To make this macrame net bag, you will need some cotton cord. I've used four millimeter cotton cord to make this pattern. You can use four millimeter or five millimeter. I tried to use a cord that was similar in size, color, and also texture. I believe the actual cording used for the Prada bag was a braided cord. I'm using a cord that has a bit more texture in it as well. I'm using a three ply cord in 4mm in diameter in a mocha color. So the great thing about using three ply over single strand for a pattern like this is that it holds shape and structure better and that it also gives a bit of a textured look to your project. This is a cord that we offer on our Bochi Knot shop at bochinot.com or on Amazon Canada and US. If you guys are interested, you can check out the links in the video description below. To get started with the pattern, you will need all 18 strands of 210 centimeter long cords. We're going to use two strands of cord at a time to start this pattern. We're going to start from the bottom of the bag and we're going to work our way upwards to the handles. We're going to start by placing both cords down on a flat surface Take one cord horizontally and tape it down around the center mark of the strand of cord. Then take your second strand and place it underneath this horizontal cord in the opposite direction. So you should see a cross like pattern form. We're going to use this vertical cord as the working cord to make an overhand knot. So right at the center of the strand of cord, we're going to make an overhand knot by taking one end through to form a loop. Then we're going to tighten this knot by pulling on both ends. As I stated before in the intro, this net bag is made with a series of overhand knots throughout the netting part of the bag. And so we're going to be making a series of overhand knots to hold the bag together. 
Once this knot is complete, all you have to do is take the tape off and then pull on all the ends to make sure the ends are even. Now all you have to do is repeat this for the remainder of the cords so that you have a total of nine of these overhand knots made. Once you have nine of these made, we're going to take two of the overhand knot patterns we just made, tape them down vertically, and we're going to take the middle two cords and take the right cord as the working cord for overhand knot onto the left cord. So if we want the overhand knots to all face the same direction, we're always going to have to use the right cord as the working cord or the left cord as the working cord. Just be consistent so that you have the same facing overhand knots. And now we have connected two of these patterns together. For this very first row that we're making to connect all of the other cords together, we're just going to leave about two centimeters of spacing here from the original overhand knots that we made and then this second row that we're starting here. Because we're starting with the bottom of the bag first, I want it to be a closer netting. And then once we get to the main part of the pattern, we're going to increase the spacing just a little bit. So we're now going to add another overhand knot to the left and then taking the middle two cords there and make another overhand knot with the right cord as the working cord onto the left cord. Continue this pattern until all nine groups are attached together. Now that we have all nine groups attached here, we're going to turn the pattern around onto the other side and we're going to repeat the same overhand knots. So we're going to work with one side at a time and then do the same thing on the other side. This is a fairly repetitive pattern. And so we're going to be doing the same knot over and over. So now on this side, as you can see, we have a knot on the far left and far right. Now we're going to add knots within that grouping, just like the knots up at the top. So starting on the right side, we're going to take the two cords in between two knots and make an overhand knot using that right cord as the working cord again then continue this all the way to the left. Now, continuing on this side of the bag pattern, we're going to work our way downwards into a V-shaped pattern. So it's actually going to form an upside down triangle pattern. What we're going to do is make a row of overhand knots with one less knot at a time underneath. And here is where we're going to increase the spacing in between the knots just slightly from two centimeters to about three centimeters. So starting on the right side again, we're going to start in between the right two overhand knots and make an alternating overhand knot underneath, leaving three centimeters of space now. 
So from now on, we're only going to leave three centimeters of space. It was just the bottom part where we had left a little bit less to form the bottom part of the pattern. From now on, we're going to have a little bit of more spacing in between the knots. Now repeat this knot all the way to the left for a total of seven overhand knots for this row. So for our next row, we're going to have six alternating overhand knots underneath and we're going to continue repeating this pattern until we have one overhand knot at the bottom. Here's the row of six, continue this pattern all the way to the bottom. Once you have completed this upside down triangle, we're going to repeat the exact same pattern on the other side. So flip the pattern around and then repeat the same upside down triangle on this other end. Once you have done the triangles on both sides, we're going to fold this pattern together right at the center at the bottom. And then make sure that both triangles are approximately the same size on both sides. If there are some parts where the netted part is a little bit bigger than the other ones or bigger than the ones at the back, we're just going to adjust and shift the knots accordingly so that they are as even as possible. Once you have gotten the pattern to be even on both sides, we're going to start finishing off the remainder of the net bag pattern. We're going to start with the sides first and then work our way upwards again. Turning the pattern sideways, we're going to take the middle two cords here and we're going to make another overhand knot but leaving two centimeters of space as we're going to try to align this knot with the second row on the back and front flaps. Now we're going to start our next row of alternating overhand knots on both sides. We're going to take the next cord down from the right side and we're going to combine it with the cord on the right here with another overhand knot. You will see here we've left a bit more space here at about three centimeters just to match the row on the front and back flaps. Then repeat the same thing on the left side. 
Now we're going to turn the pattern around and repeat the same three knots on the other side. Once that is done, we can fold the front and back flaps together again. And you should see that we have the cords on the side pattern already started. You can adjust the knots if there are any scrunched up cords or if the length or the spacing is not accurate. And all we have to do now is fill in the rest of the net bag pattern on the front and back. So it doesn't matter which way you start, I'm just going to start on the left side here, just taking two cords and we're just going to make alternating overhand knots all around the sides. Now that I have made one here, we're just going to finish off the rest of the side here, the front knots and then at the back and then do the same thing on the other side. With this row now completed, we're just going to repeat the exact same pattern all the way downwards. And then you will see that the net bag is starting to form. Once you're done, add one more row all around front and back. So once that very last row is completed, we're now done with the net bag portion of the bag. We're so based on the last row of knots, we should have eight knots at the front, one on each side, and then eight at the back. We're going to separate out the nine cords on the left front side here and then we're going to make an overhand knot. You should have the eight cords from the front four knots and then one cord from the side knot here. And then with these nine cords, we're going to make a large overhand knot. We're going to leave about two inches of space between the net bag and this knot. Now with the first overhand knot done, we're going to repeat the exact same pattern with the rest of the groupings. We should have at the end four of these large overhand knots, so two on both sides. To make the handle up at the top, we're going to take two overhand knots and the remainder of the cords, we're going to crisscross them on top of each other. If you have about 20 centimeters measured from the left overhand knot to the right overhand knot, that's the approximate spacing we want for the handle. If you have that approximate spacing, then now you can take your 300 centimeter strand of cord and we're going to make a large gathering knot here. So take your strand of cord on one end and we're going to make a loop all the way to the other end past the other overhand knot. And then we're going to take that long cord end and we're going to wrap it around starting on the left side several times all the way to the right.
Continue wrapping the cords all the way to the right side. The loop end of this working cord we started should be on the right with the end hanging out on the left. So once you are done wrapping the handle, take that cord end and weave it through the loop that we made in the beginning and then take the other end on the left side and we're going to pull it so that the loop goes underneath the wrapped area. Once it is tightly underneath the wrapped area, you can now cut off the remainder of the cords. But before we cut it off, we're just going to finish the other handle first, make sure it's even so that we don't have to fix anything and then cut off the excess cords. So once both handles are made, the very last thing you have to do is cut off all the excess cords. Because things could easily fall out of a net bag, if you want to hold smaller items, I recommend putting a drawstring bag within the bag itself so you can hold all your items within that bag. You can get these off of Amazon. I'll post links to these bags in the video description below. The approximate dimensions for the inner bag is 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. And that is how you can make a bag that is worth over $2,000 for just $8. I really hope you guys enjoyed this macrame net bag tutorial. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys enjoyed about it. If you guys like beginner friendly tutorials like this, we have several hundred more on our YouTube channel. So make sure you guys check out our macrame tutorial playlist and see what other projects you guys want to make. We also offer a macrame starter kit if you want to get to know the other basic knots of macrame like the double half inch knot, square knot, and the large side knot which are all important knots in learning how to macrame. We are currently going over the macrame fashion theme on our Bochina Macrame community on Patreon. We've released bag tutorials and an intro on how to create your own macrame clothing designs. We've also released two macrame clothing pattern tutorials with a macrame top and a macrame skirt. If you guys are interested in advancing your macrame skill set from beginner to advanced, you guys can check us out on patreon.com slash As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.